Oh yeah, this is my uh, Mamid SL1 modified. It's got a dead leg looking out of there. And upgrade for the nozzle there so you can steam it and fill it up while it's in steam. It has the upgrade um, oh, steam regulator which pops through the roof there with a safety valve on top. And then we have a double reservoir Mets uh, burner with three wicks under there, which obviously heats up the, the boiler, which is water, and then steam comes through the front. These are sliding pistons, 16 millimeter gauge. And basically I've changed the wheels. I've built, I've made new conrods, more prototypical, and then tender with if you fill that there I shall build this tender fill that there it feeds through the pipe and down into the uh, Mets reservoir burner basically while you're running it it's got a little coal shuttle at the front and then I've got I haven't got the change on the buffers because I've lost it so I'm gonna have to order some more then I've got my wooden uh, for stineal coaches, narrow gauge again, it's keeping plenty of the loco. And uh, the roof comes off on these, and as you can see, it's got seating in there for people if I choose to buy some. And it's sitting on their mammoth track, which I have got to purchase some more so I can aim at getting a um, garden railway. So I just thought I'd share it on my channel. So. There we go, all this here is new, brand new. Um, bought those off, I think it was one of the, I think it was wooden models, I'm not too sure. Anyway, and then cheese head screws located all together. All this here, inside, up here, front, roof, um, and the back, um, tender, all that is self built. It's the ease of access to get to the regulator, obviously in there, to grow, control the, the uh, steam through to the front. So you could have the front regulator fully open and then control the speed by using that, by how much speed it goes through. Okay, well, I hope you like my little hobby. There you go, a Mampid SL1. Modified live steam in 16mm gauge SM32 on O gauge track. Thanks.